Oh, hey, good morning. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Today we're trying to draw them out. I want to see that showcase or that showcase. You know what I mean? I haven't seen the Valky or the Voren Collect, so we're trying to draw them out one last time. We got a box of Kaldheim Collectors. I know it's not Time Spot Remaster, but let's see what we can grab. Welcome back to Grim Entertainment. Happy Friday, y'all. Hope you guys are doing good. Ready for the weekend. See what kind of crazy prices Time Spiral brings in. Uh, you guys saw the intro. You know what's up. We're going for a Kaldheim Collector's Box today. This is probably going to be the last Collector's Box we open on the channel. If it's good. So let's get into this right now. I want to make this video pretty short and sweet. <clears throat> um... Yeah, I want that. Ooh, smack camera, apparently. I want that freaking Showcase Vorinclex. I want that Showcase Valky. Uh, we're due for an epic box of collectors. We've had a, a few a few good ones, but no great ones. You know what I mean? Um, sorry, it's not Time Spot Remastered, you guys, but guess what? Sunday, 6 p.m. Sunday uh, would be March 28th, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to do our second Terran Share. And uh, we'll be cracking some Time Spiral. I think I'm going to do a Pain for the Drain live. I'm still 16 boxes in with no mana drain. So we're going to be getting into that. Make sure you guys tune in Sunday, 6 p.m. Um, that being said, <clears throat> uh, new subs. Speaking of Terran shares, Neil Swain. Uh, also knows Pax McCracken on YouTube. Appreciate you handing me out that name for those live streams that we're doing. Um... Also, appreciate your subscriptions. And Brandon Fedrick, appreciate your subscription too, man. Uh, let's get into this freaking Kaldheim collector's box, huh? Cool, we're going to try to speed through this pretty quickly. I'm doing this before work on a Friday, trying to trying to keep everything in order here. Ooh, planes. All right, Ruthless Winnower for our first one here. Oh, the Dragonkin Berserker. A Tundra Fumeral. Narfi Betrayer King. Ooh, there's a nice Turgrid. With a Vega. Ooh, and a borderless foil Nico Eris right out of the gate. Hopefully oh, that doesn't take up too much of the goodness. Cracking into pack two here. We went from the left stack first, you guys. We're not fucking around today. Going left side, best side, you know? Um, yeah. New subs have been awesome. We've been... Slowly growing, waiting to put out that freaking that new channel and everything. I got a name change and everything coming. Ooh, with an extended art world tree. That's what you like to see. That's good. Oh, and a foil Alrun, God of the Cosmos. Okay, okay. This this box wants to be good because we're on that left side. <laughs> oh, and a borderless Quake Bringer. So that's two Mythics in one pack with a Svela Ice Shaper. And a foil search for glory. All right. Uh, we need one more spot here. Move some things around on you. Sorry. All right. And a Tybalt Cosmic Imposter. I'm looking to see that. Um, I also wanted to personally thank Bruce B. For being my first live sponsor. Uh, last Terran share. We had a couple people grab some cards. One of them being Bruce. Um, and then uh, later on in the stream, I thought we were just chilling, and Bruce said, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and crack, or crack, <laughs> crack open a Kaldheim set booster for me. And so we did. He got a pretty good box. If I remember right, there was like seven Mythics in there. Um, so huge thanks to Bruce for being the first one to crack the ice on that. I know it's hard to just send your money to some random guy on the internet, Spectral Deluge, without having any uh, references. Ooh, Doomscar, I wish that was foil. But he took a shot. Paid off for him. He'll have his card shortly. Bruce, I really appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Vega the Watcher. Ooh, Starnheim Unleashed. This left side is bringing the mythics. That's three. Harold, King of Skemfar, and a Redane, God of the Nothing. Throw you up there. Um, yeah. So that was awesome. Bruce was awesome for that. Uh, yeah. We got boxes, sponsors. 
Uh, Time Spiral Remastered. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna open my box live or if I'm gonna try to do a pack battle. You know, uh, I got I got an extra box that I could do a pack battle with. Um, it's Shannon's box. She did want to sell it, but I, I think it'd be more fun to do a pack battle. What do you guys think? Um, if you've watched these these uh, Terran shares, I got to get a vote system going on. Like, what box do you guys want to see open? You know, ooh, Cosmos Charger, Varagoth. Yeah, that guy looks nasty. Moride of the Frost. Cause we got, I mean, we got Throne War, Jumpstart, Commander Legends. Oh man, we got tons of boxes. It's all about what you guys want to see open, you know? Those Terran Ship, Bark Channel Pathway. Ooh. I mean, shit, I even got Ikoria, you know? Uh, more Out of the Frost. I just, I just want to get into a little more, a little reflections of Lit Yara. Very nice. Just a few more, uh, just a few more interactions and stuff. Try to get a little bit of vote going instead of just opening what I like to see, you know? It's all about what you guys want to see. Time Spiral is nuts. I wish I could get my hands on more of it, you know? I really do. Uh, I super underhyped the set. I can admit when I'm wrong. I was way wrong about Time Spiral. The set's awesome. I tried to play it down saying I needed to save money for the uh, Strixhaven set, which I do. Spoilers on Strixhaven are looking crazy. Valkyrie Harbinger in search of greatness. Yeah, we are. With the Rally the Ranks. And a Herald King of Skem for Seekus Chariot. Narfi. Ooh, and a Maskwood Nexus. That's not bad, huh? All right. All right. With an Icy Manolith. Last pack of that left side. So far, doing okay. Three Mythics. None of the ones you want to see, though. I mean, you want to see them all, but we're looking for those big hitters, you know? We got something coming up in the back. Please be a gold span dragon. Wouldn't that be dope? I'll take a foil extended art gold span as well. I'm not being too picky. Snow covered mountain. The crown of Skemfar. Ooh, Eradicator Valkyrie. There's another mythic. Four now on that left side. Rise of the Dreadmorn. Agar the Freezing Flame. Taralf, God of Fury. Five on the left side. Holy hell. Finn the Fangbearer. And. The Dream Devour. That's nice. That's nice. That card's great. Okay, with the Spirit Token. Let's get into that right side. I just want to know if Time Spiral... You, you guys think the hype for Time Spiral is going to stick around through Strixhaven? I'm not sure. we got spoilers coming out for them now. There's going to be Elder Dragons and... You know, like... It's almost like uh, Wizards knows where their, where their target audience is. Elder Dragons, huh? Hmm. Wonder what's popular right now. It could be EDH, aka Commander. Pretty sure that's how EDH started. Elder Dragon Highlander, right? Ooh. Excuse me. Righteous Valkyrie. The Blight Step Pathway into the Seer Step Pathway. Nice. Here you go, Judge of Valor. Another Nico Eris. I don't want to see you anymore. I have enough of you. We want that Showcase Vorinclex. Carter, Doom Scourge. And Seralf Realmeter. Nothing. Damn. Alright. Alright, don't get discouraged. We're gonna we're gonna pull either a showcase Valky or a showcase Vorny. One of the two. Maybe we'll get that Phyrexian Vorn Clex, you know? I don't know. So what you guys think of Call of Time? It's over now, right? It's over. It's dead. It's dead. It's old news. Another one. Lathral Blade of the Elves. Another Tundra Fumeral. Another Nico Eris. Tell it you don't tell him you don't want him. And then they will show up. Alright, so I think that's like seven mythics now, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe even eight, seven. Looks like eight. We've got eight mythics. Sheesh. Finn the Fang Bearer. Oh, and another beautiful dark boar pathway. Flipping into the slither boar pathway. I don't know. Strixhaven is looking pretty cool. That ward mechanic's strange. That seems like a mechanic built specifically Realm Walker. Oh, look at you. I think I know a guy named Vance that might want that. And Kaya the Inexorable. Uh, yeah, that board mechanic from Strixhaven kind of seems a little geared towards maybe Riku. Two reflections? I don't know. Just saying. Might be a commander out there that's good at copying instants and sorceries and creature spells. Who knows? I don't know how it's going to roll, but some of those cards already look pretty good. We got Tales of the Ancestors. 
Cyclone Summoner, Old Growth Troll, Maya, Bredegard Protector, Kovori, God of Kinship, Furia, and, oh, we got it. We got the Foil Henge Gate into the Mist Gate. I have wanted you. Look at that. The art on these is so dope. Cannot convince me otherwise. Matter of fact, I think these are a little undervalued. I'll put you in a sleeve. Just go back and look at how much the uh, the triomes are from Ikoria. And uh, the other pathways are from Zendikar Rising. Excuse me, I almost choked there. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got what, Liliana's back in Strixhaven as a freaking teacher? Hearing some Van Halen going on in the background. Hot for teacher, you know? <laughs> uh, we got Stoic Farmer. The old Reckless Crew. Maya, or, well, excuse me, Magda, Brazen Outlaw. Carter Doom Scourge, another Sorolf. Cole the Forge Master, give me something spicy. Ice Breaker Kraken. All right, see, that's why you don't say spicy. You say spicy on this channel, you get shit on. Giant Wizard. All right, all right. Well, I'm starting to lose hope. This looks like it's going to be another one. I'm not going to lie, you guys. These, uh, these, unless we get something crazy in these last two packs, these uh, collector packs from Kaldheim seemed a little bit stale, didn't they? I don't, I think you get better pulls from just the regular, uh, we got Blood Sky Massacre, ugh, Saga, Rise of the Dreadmarn. I think you get better pulls, ooh, another Blood Sky Massacre, whoopee. Cold of Forge Master. Egon, God of Death, Maya, Bredegard, Protector, and show me some good ah, Calamity Bear. Come on. See, I think you get something better uh, out of the set boosters and, honestly, the draft boosters. I've seen more Phyrexian Boring Collects pulled that way. I, myself, pulled a couple out of a set booster. I don't think I've pulled a single Boring Collects out of any of the three Kaldheim Collector's boosters that we've done. So, just saying. Um... There could be a reason why they're so cheap. I, I don't think it's that card undervalued. Keep your eye on it. Uh, I, I just think I think the better the better pull rates was in uh, set boosters and draft boosters. To be honest with you guys, we got Canopy Tactician, Old Growth Troll, trolling me for good. Redain God of the Worthy. Oof. Uh, I feel like I'm taking a bath on this box. You guys, we got a bunch of Mythics, but I bet you they're all like fucking $2 or less. I just cussed. Well, there goes subscriptions. Just kidding. We all know we're adults. This is the last one. This is the last one. Let's go for a little a little fat finger slow roll here. Glorious Protector. Oh, man. F's in the freaking comment section. Uh, we did what we could. We tried. We tried. Uh, make sure you guys... Come by on Sunday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the live stream. Tear and share number two. We're going to be getting into some time spiral. Uh, uh, but first, we're going to do a live pain for the drain. Uh, so we're going to go open 16. Well, we're going to go open box 17, actually. And uh, see if we can't pull a mana drain. It's been forever. You guys can watch me wreck my face with hot sauces. That's that. Box total. Probably abysmal. Um... Let's move on from Kaldheim for now. Next one we'll do is something completely different. We're done with this playmat too. It's nothing but bad luck. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Sunday, 6 p.m.